name is Batyakunyaga Rose. I am the head teacher of Daystar Nursery and Primary School. The mission of Daystar is to produce God-fearing, self-reliant children and future leaders. You know, some people feel when they are suffering, they are like, maybe God is not there. Maybe God does not care about me. When you tell people that today Stana Salan Primary School is in a place called Kolomojo, they will say, wow, it's Kolomojo. They just ran away from their original homeland to come and like they are looking for refugee here. Most of them, they don't even know where they will get the next meal. What they can do is drinking, you know, they are hopeless, so they say, let me drink it away. That's why you find even that education of their children is not a priority. Because they are like, if I can fail to eat, then how do you expect me to get money for school fees for my child? In the case of Deista, we have the academics, then we have uh, spiritual, that's when we teach the Bible. We have an organization called CH Global. I'm called Shadrach Wanjala Hudson and I'm the project manager of Christian Horizons Global. Me as a person, I was born and raised in Jinja. I've been doing this community for a long time. When CH identified the need of education in the community, we build the school and we fund the school. They take care of the meals, they take care of the uniforms, and most of the materials that we are using here. We have 407 students. Three quarters of the children are sponsored by CH Global. My name is Robert Sabunyampaji and I work with Marceline Foundation Africa. I'm the director here in Uganda. We train something like 13 to 15 teachers in desktop on how to use different discipleship tools and how to run a Sunday school and a community Bible club. So we said, why don't we go down to the community? We started the Bible club. Children came. At first they were a bit reserved, they were like, I think that thing is for day start. We told them, no, 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 it is for you. We have come down to the community, it's for you. We started with about maybe 200. But as I talk now, the number is between 600 and 700. Then we know really something good is happening. The best way to help a community is to train the people in the community on how to face their challenges. When we start, we give everything. But after a year, start charging a basic tuition. Now when, when someone pays for a service, he owns that service. Now when we bring in that part whereby they start running this project on their own behalf, it brings in ownership, and ownership brings in independence. In the case of Deista, CH Global is the main finance. Marcel Link, they are providing the materials, the training, the teachers are providing the services. The importance of having all those activities I've mentioned, you know, it's like a, a complete chain. If we remove one from them, there will be that gap. When this seed is fully grown, we want to see them grow up and bear the fruit. We want to see that community fully transformed. When they are transformed spiritually, they'll be able to settle down socially and they become responsible citizens of the community and they're able to stand on their own. These are the children that are going to live in that community in the 10 years to come. So if they are helped now, we will not see what we are seeing today. Each and every one of us has a part to play. It's based on a relationship and we have to encourage each other. All of us are building the kingdom of God together. So we need all of them to form the partnership and carry on with the work of God. What we do is to reach out and encourage and give hope and create. Uh, a legacy of peace. We're training these people that, okay, you can be going through all this, but still there's someone who can give hope. There's someone who's merciful, someone who cares.